Yeah, that's right. Uh, this past weekend, I traveled to Kaunas, Lithuania. <laughs> it's, um, so it's just west of Russia, um, Eastern Europe, uh, next to Poland. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so my boyfriend and I actually flew out of JFK. So that was about a four hour car ride on Thursday morning. Our flight, we left out of JFK, flew to Moscow, which was about a nine and a half hour flight. And then it was about another two hours to Lithuania. Uh, you know, some people, a good amount of people spoke broken English, but nothing that fluent. For sure. Uh, we arrived at 10 o'clock in the morning on Friday, and um, the contest was going on 1 p.m. their time Saturday. They're seven hours ahead of East Coast time. Yeah, huge. Uh, I was about 246. Um, so, unfortunately, Zadrunas was injured. He uh, injured his neck about a week or so ago. So he had to drop out. Uh, Kritsov Radzikowski tore his bicep about seven weeks ago, so he had to drop out. Um, so the next big names were Dimitar Sabatinov, uh, Vitaltis Lalas, Vitas Blakaitis, uh, and Graham Hicks were really the four guys that were, you know, kind of at the top. Yep. Yeah, so by the time we – so we actually had a one-hour car ride after we landed in Lithuania. Um, they, have, they had arranged travel for us once we got there. So it was about an hour and 15 minutes from the airport to where we were competing and where the hotel was. Um, checked at the hotel, and then we, able to, then we were able to finally get our first real meal in at, at that time. Um, you know, to be honest, this was my first time ever competing international. This is my first time out of the U.S. So everything was a little bit wonky for me to begin with. And um, pretty much my biggest thing was just trying to rest up as much as possible, uh, just with the time change and everything. Didn't get to sleep as much as I wanted to on the plane just because the airline we were flying didn't have any air on it, really. Um, so the entire way there, uh, you know, we were just sweating the entire plane ride, which is really uncomfortable. Um so when we got there, I probably took like two or three naps on Friday just to try to catch up on sleep a little bit. And it was pretty much just sleeping, eating, and drinking all day Friday just to get ready for Saturday. Yeah, no, it was really cool. Um, and that's pretty much what Strongman is in all the other countries. It's production. Everybody loves watching it. And they put a lot of time and effort into making sure that their fans have a great time. Uh, there was an MC that was keeping everybody excited. Um, there was probably about a thousand or so people in the crowd watching. And um, the log we were using was uh, the old IFSA log. So it was a little bit bigger than we expected. So everybody was a little bit weary about that. Yeah, they actually put like um, logo stickers over all of that stuff. So, yeah, I mean, it's a great log. It was 
like I said, once we found out we were using that, everybody was kind of taken back because we were expected to use a different log than that. Um, and so everybody was a little bit weary just because it's a harder log to clean and press. So everybody kind of backed off their numbers just a little bit going into the show. Yeah, yep, it was four attempts. So pretty much what we looked at is um, in talking to my coaches, trying to get some numbers laid out with how my training was going. We were going to open up pretty conservative. So the week before the contest uh, in training, I had hit 425 for a double. Um, so we decided to open up somewhere in the 390, 400 range. So I decided to open up at 180 kilos, which is 396 pounds. Um, and my first attempt went really well. So decided to make a 10 kilo jump and go to 190. Uh, when I went for my first attempt at 190, the platform that we were on was actually carpeted. So I went for my split jerk and my front foot got caught on the carpet and didn't move out as far as I needed it to. So the log was out in front of me. Um, luckily, we get 60 seconds to complete the lift. So after I'd missed the first attempt at 190 kilos, which is about 418 pounds, took a step back, tried to regain my composure and hit it on the second time within that minute, um, which I was really excited about. Originally in my plan, I was going to go from 190 to 200 kilos, but since I missed that first rep at 190 and had to redo it, um, decided to only make a five kilo jump and go to 195, which is 429, um, hit that pretty easily. And after that, it was really just kind of like a game to see where everybody, where everybody else was to decide on where my fourth attempt was. Um, I had talked to our Irvin Katona, who's been a world strongest man competitor multiple times, who was one of the judges there. And, you know, he just kind of looked at me and said, hey, you didn't come all this way not to win. Um, so that's why I made the decision to go for 202.5 kilos, which is 445 and a half. Yeah, and like I said, you know, my, my first attempt at 180 kilos, everything felt great, um, but I didn't quite realize that the, the diameter of the log is 13 inches, not the standard 12 that we usually use here in the U.S. Um, so when I cleaned it, it actually pulled me forward onto my toes on the first clean, so I had to kind of readjust and sit back and then go for the jerk, but it all worked out pretty well. It was uh, pretty much just, uh, you know, starting once I got the invite for this contest, I really only had four weeks to train. Um, so it was my first week was, you know, hitting a five rep max, clean once, jerk for five, hitting that for two sets. Uh, the second week was a triple and then another triple. Uh, and then my final week of training was 425 for a double with uh, just two jerks. Yeah, for sure. Um, one of my, my one of my sponsors, Relentless Jeans, they were fortunate enough to help me out. And then uh, Ken Anderson of Anderson Powerlifting came through big, and um, you know he he threw down a bunch of money to help get me over there, which was awesome. Also sent me some elbow sleeves, which were awesome. Um, and then I also ran a GoFundMe page and had you know, nearly 40, 45 people donate to get me over to Lithuania. And I, you know, I couldn't have done it without, without every one of them. Yeah. So the automatic invite is there for next year. Um, you know, and who knows where it's going to be because it changes every year. Um, 
you know, pretty much next on the docket is, uh, you know, I'm getting ready for the North American Log Deadlift Championships in Indiana at the end of this month. Uh, and then hopefully, you know, take, t- take top three there and get to go to a 105 kilo pro world strongest man in Ireland at the end of July. Yeah, no, it's definitely coming up. Um, you know, that deadlift really kind of came out of nowhere. My, you know, when I started training for this Indiana contest, um, my deadlift was pretty good. You know, I was finding like my five rep max and I was pulling, you know, 630, 650 for a couple of sets of five, which was going pretty well. And then as I was just, you know, training, um, I hired a nutrition coach, which kind of helped me out a lot. And that all just kind of catapulted me where, you know, I hit 735 for a, for a a set of five. And then, um, you know, my coach said the next week, we're going to go for a one at max. And I was able to pull the eight thirty five. So nutrition, I have a a good friend of mine, Andrew Triana, um, who, you know, Springfield college grad. I've known him for four years, just really, really great kid and super smart. Um, and then my two strength coaches are, uh, Ben Lambosis, who's a retired one Oh five kilo pro. And then uh, James Apostolakos, they work together um, in making my programming. Uh, Huge shout out to my boyfriend, Joey, for taking time off of work and coming to Lithuania and really just kind of being my sanity throughout the entire thing and keeping me grounded and helping me throughout. Um, You know, without him, I really don't know how the hell I'd be able to do any of this. And huge shout out to Dion as well for getting me invited because that's how this all came about. I pretty much just saw just Zadrunas training for the log lift championship, shot her a text. and was like, hey, if there's any way that I can go since there's no other Americans going, I would love to be a part of it. And she got back to me within minutes saying that she would text Zadrunas. And then the next day I had the invite. So I, you know, huge shout out to her as well. Absolutely. I think it was uh, Uzbekistan. Yeah, Alan Colley competed over there, yeah. Yeah. You know, when you look at, um, you know, the guys, so I was the only guy in the top five of the contest that had never competed at world's strongest man. And, you know, the guy that I tied for first place with weighed about three seventy five the day of the show. So, you know, definitely speak. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it just, you know, just shows that, you know, the split jerk really is the most effective way to put anything overhead. Yeah, no, like, like I said, you know, it was completely unexpected, but, um, you know, extremely exciting at the same time. Yeah, thank you very much. I appreciate it.